exploring, understanding, and celebrating the natural world of the San Francisco Bay Area. Bay Nature on the Air. The great blue herons are so interesting because they have the six foot wingspan, they're four feet tall, and they're just magnificent as they fly in and out of their nests, either building the nests or feeding the chicks. We started our special Heron Watch program six years ago to introduce the public to these charismatic great blue herons that nest all over these trees right in the middle of Stowe Lake. This is a wonderful opportunity with these birds right here in the middle of the city to really show nature, you know, in our own backyard. That's why we set up the spotting scopes so that you can see the herons from all different vantage points as we walk around. As long as they can get in the top of the tree, that's what they're looking for, the top of the tree. The great blue loves a great view. <laughs> the great blue herons arrive at Stowe Lake in January and they start constructing their nests. As soon as they find a partner, they're busy uh, with twig presentations and, and greetings. So, so that's, your, that's your twig presentation right in front of you. The male gets the sticks to build the nest or renovate it, but the female is the architect. She's the one that places the sticks very carefully, makes sure that it's coming together. In March, they are incubating their eggs. April, we have chicks. The great blue heron egg is only this big. Most people expect it to be the size of a volleyball. You know how you can tell a chick, he's got an all black feathers on the top, kind of spiky, kind of spiky, very, very modern. From April and May and June, the chicks are learning to fly until they declare their independence of us on July 4th. It's really a tremendous high to introduce all these people that come through to their, to their first experience in the natural world. And uh, I can't think of any, anything better to do, and I'll be doing it the rest of my life.